The Sussexes' decision for only Harry to make the long trip across the Atlantic to London for this weekend's coronation has been heavily criticized and scrutinized. But technically, Meg is at the coronation. King Charles and his wife Camilla will travel from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey in the modern Diamond Jubilee State Coach. The coach has been made to commemorate Queen Elizabeth, the second, 60th year on the throne. Eight horses, Icon, Shadow, Milford Haven, Newark, Echo, Knightsbridge, Tyrone, and Megan will be center stage on Saturday as they pull the Golden State coach in the coronation procession. How sweet that Meg will be pulling the Gold State coach for the king and queen consort. We knew that Megan would make an appearance. Somehow that horse will be doing more work than human Megan one day. Royal expert Neil Sean claims to have been told by a royal source that the monarch is still holding out hope that his grandchildren will be present. Speaking on his YouTube channel, he said, according to a very good source in the palace, both the king and the queen have not given up hope that Harry might surprise them with the children, finally bringing them over for an albeit very flying visit. Whether the duke does so or not is yet to be seen. But it comes as Meghan Markle was confirmed to be missing out on the coronation to stay at the couple's California residence. His solar trip to the UK may prove difficult, though, as one expert believes the Duke relies on Meghan in public visits. Tessa Dunlop believes that her absence from the upcoming coronation will leave Harry exposed, she said. He does lean on her very heavily, and he's coming alone. That means he's exposed effectively. However, Tom Bauer believes the Sussexes are planning to call an audible just to mess with Charles and company. I suspect he'll look for an excuse until the very last moment not to come. And that will be the stunt that they'll pull. If Charles had dealt with it properly weeks or months ago, we wouldn't be hanging on to whether Meghan and Harry are coming or not. According to Bauer, if Harry does show up, then Meghan will find some way to upstage Charles. She's a master of the unexpected, so I'm sure that when Harriet is here or just before he arrives, something else will come out of California, Bauer said. And unfortunately, it all shadows what the coronation is meant to be about. And for Kinsey Schofield, host of the Royal Podcast to Die for Daily, there was more to Meghan's decision than simply not showing up. Speaking on Talk TV, the author questioned if Megan was attempting to show herself off as a victim, particularly after many viewed her as the driving force behind the Sussex's decision to quit the family. She told Chris, though, is this her trying to change the narrative and reshift it back to victim mode so that people sympathize with her and as they watch the coronation, they feel sorry for her. Another suggestion from Miss Schofield was that the claims around Megan's race being used against her may not have correctly been followed through by members of the firm. This upset Megan and Harry, who asked the question. It so far remained a mystery, and Miss Schofield believes that the heat generated from that episode could be fueling her current decision, the author continued. Megan wrote to Charles after the interview to explain her experience made her suicidal. She specifically told him the person in the circumstances behind the skin color comment, and she was unhappy with Charles' response. She released a statement last night denying this was the reason she would not be at the coronation, insisting that she doesn't live in the past.